Magpalang araw po sa ating lahat. Welcome po sa ating daily devotional. At sa pagkakataon pong ito, patuloy natin pag-aralan ng salita ng Diyos. Be prepared. When was the last time something took you by surprise? How did you react? Pwede niyo pong isulat ulit sa ating comment section ng inyong mga sagot. Have you ever been asked a question about your Christian beliefs that you couldn't answer? If so, what was it? How did you respond? How did you wish you'd responded? But in your hearts, revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect. First Peter chapter 3, verse 15. The Bible tells us to share the good news about Jesus with others, but it doesn't tell us how they'll respond. It will be great if they all immediately drop to their knees and believe that Jesus died for their sins, but that's not likely to happen. What is likely to happen is that people will challenge us with statements or questions like this, I'm a good person. Why do I need to accept Jesus to get into heaven? At marami pong ganyan. Marami pong nagtatanong, Buti naman akong tao. Bakit? Hindi pa ba yung sapat para mapakapunta ko ng langit? And you believe what you want to believe. And I'll believe what I want to believe. So there's now a relativity of faith na yung pinaniniwalaan mo, maaring totoo yan, yung akin naman, totoo din. And why would I want to have a personal relationship with God, with a God who allows so much suffering in the world? So there's a question of theodicy. Na nasaan yung justice ng Diyos? Bakit ganito? Ang daming suffering, ang daming mga bagay na nangyayari sa buhay na parang di ko na kayang explain. Particularly, in this time of pandemic, marami nagtatanong, nasaan ang Diyos? Another question is, I can't stand church people. They're all hypocrites. Why would I want to become one? How do you know you're right? How do you know that Muslims or Hindus or Jews aren't right? So the best way to deal with those challenges is to prepare and we need to spend time thinking about questions or arguments people might have. Then we need to talk about these challenges with other Christians and find answers in God's Word. Finally, we need to pray for wisdom and clear thinking. When we prepare ourselves the best we can, God will do the rest. So, importante po na magawa po natin yung mga bagay na yun. We need to trust God in this particular time, in this particular moment, and when that time comes, that we need to explain our faith. I pray that we are ready to lead them to the love of God and to His grace. The message of the gospel. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for giving us resources to prepare for the questions we'll get asked about you and your word. Give us the confidence and wisdom to give people the right answers. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you po. Salamat po sa patuloy na pagsubaybay sa ating daily devotionals. Enjoy your day.